Okay, hello everyone, and Kogan. Um, well, with the printers again. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this one right now is working. Uh, on a previous video I made showing the cartridge load loading issues, that was a video done uh, with this printer here. And it is printing with another cartridge, so it more or less proves to me that the printer itself is not at fault. Uh, and that somehow the fault is with the cartridges that I've been receiving from our friendly suppliers at Kogan. Now, um, so aside from the cartridge read issues, the other problem which has just emerged today uh, is with this printer here. Now I'll just um, see if I can rotate. Now I'm going to manhandle this camera a little bit just so that I can show you. But essentially it was starting into a print job and then I could hear this clang, 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 clang sound, which as it turns out was the, uh, the, the print head, the uh, little motor that pulls the uh, filament through uh, was slipping on the filament. The reason being is that the heater itself stopped functioning. So it was no longer melting the filament, allowing fresh filament to be pushed through. Now I just want to prove that I'm speaking the truth. Uh, so I will bring the camera closer to here and I will just simply attempt to unload the filament material that's in there right now. Now to unload it has to heat up the print head and I'm going to hopefully prove to you that this print head is not heating up. So here we go. Alright so we're just going to bring it in here. Now you can see up the top there's my filament material going into the print head and this is where the, the action is going to be uh, updated which is on the display here. So hopefully you can see this now. So I'm going to go to utilities and change cartridge and just try to unload this material. Now uh, the room temperature at the moment is 23 degrees. Now it says please wait which means typically that means it's heating up the filament. Now I'm going to have to try and limit how long I wait for this to heat up because uh, I don't want to bore everyone to tears. But um, let's see if I put my watch up there now, uh, it's just after 2 p.m. So if we wait a few minutes, you would expect at least uh, a few degrees change in temperature here. Right? And I think you'll notice that there is no change in temperature. So I want to skip this film uh, rolling continuously so that um, uh, you can tell that I'm not cutting and pasting all this kind of stuff. I'm actually just telling you the truth. These are the facts. Uh, it is not heating up. Um, now, you may not see right now, but if I lower this down, Uh, if I put my hand near the hint, the print head, uh, it's it's uh, there's no detect no warmth detected whatsoever. So you can see that temperature is not changing. Uh, you'd expect it to be at least a degree or two hotter by now. Uh, it's about a minute has passed. Let's just keep the watch here. Just do it for one more minute. Normally the uh, printer does respond a lot faster than that. So you can see nothing's happening. Now, if I was take if I was to um, take this to my third printer here and do the same thing. So I'll just pan back. This is my third one. 
And if I go change cartridge, try to get that on the screen. Now it's showing 21 degrees. I'll put the watch up there. 22, 23, 24, 27. You can see it's changing quite rapidly. Like almost each second it's going up one degree. Okay? So if I just go back again to this other printer, I think hopefully by now you'll agree that this heater is not working. Now I'll just show you the serial number of this one just in case there's any last minute confusion. Alright, that's the serial number of the printer that is not heating up. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to share with you. Thank you very much.